Go into A minor. You all know those chords. Go into D7. Go into G. That's the first four chords in the song in the key of E minor or G. Next chord is C and so forth. But I'll, I'll stop at the fourth bar, after the four bar. So, so what I do now is, uh, many people think, oh man, you have to think like, you have to have two brains because you play a bass line and then melody on top, you have to think like that. But actually, it's in the beginning, it's all about um, uh, your hands just actually training to do it. It's not like I'm thinking, uh, it's not like I have two brains. So, so if I play, a, I figure out a bass line between those chords. And, and a simple way to do it is it's just by using your ear. I have a whole lesson on the moving bass lines and how you actually find the good notes in the moving bass line. It's kind of theory based, so if you haven't done any music theory, it might be a little bit weird. But you can still check it out, I will send it to you. Um, on the email if you want. So, how to find the bass line. But you can also just use your ear. So you have one bar of E minor, one bar of A minor, D7 one bar, and G one bar. So I figure out a bass line between those chords. So I E minor, I walk the bass up to A. Here's the A note, over here, and I figured I have three notes before I get to the A note, right? One, two, three, four, or four notes, sorry. And then I land on the next bar on the A note. So that, that seems like a good bass line. Now I'm going to the D, uh, D chord and I can do find something from D to G in the same way and then from G to D is C. So I'll do this very slowly. So I, I, I practice that first and then I play the melody somewhere on the neck. Where can I play it? Okay, I'm gonna play this note so I need to play the melody somewhere here. I can't play because it's too stretchy. So I find a good place and I play it like this. Okay, that's the melody. That's the first note, so I play them at the same time. That's the ne next note. Okay, that's the next note. That's the ne next note. And that's the next note. So now I have the whole thing. Okay, I've arranged the first bar. And I'll practice that. And the fingerings for it. Maybe I should use my thumb like that. Or, what's the best way I figure it out how it feels for my hands? And so forth. For I, I've only played it at the same time as the bass, right? So this is not too difficult. But it doesn't, nobody phrases the song like that, right? So after a while you wanted to phrase it, you, want, you don't want to play flying to the moon like this. <laughs> it, it's boring. So you want to do something like. So I do that, I phrase it, one, two, three, right? It's a totally different feel, so, uh, and I've worked this out really slowly in a way that I like. And after a while, you don't think about the bass at all. It's just part of the thumb, and it will be. Pretty soon, once you play it, if you play it a lot, it will be pretty soon, you will feel comfortable with the thumb and you can phrase it how you would sing it. I could go I'll try that. Or I can go on the on the syncopation. One, two, three, four. You know what I mean? So this is this is essential to get the, the song to swing a little bit better. So I got Like 
this, you notice that there's a microphone inside, of course, so when I hit it on 2 and 4, I get that little uh, boom from the amplifier. Uh, this is so small, so you can't really get it here, but when you have a big PA, you can feel it in your body. <laughs> so when you, I hit the guitar, you can hear it. So this is essential uh, for the for the independence, you know, when you do that. So I will I will practice that only the bass note and the melody. And now.